Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask God's forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the bread of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Lord God, to whom belongs all creation, and who call us to serve you by caring for the gifts that surround us. Inspire us by the example of St. Isidore to share our food with the hungry and to work for the salvation of all people. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the Church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. I know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you, and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come forward, perverting the truth, to draw disciples away after them. So be vigilant, and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And I now commend to you, God, and that gracious word that of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver or gold or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they drew their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. <clears throat> Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing, sing to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the earth. earth. Your kingdoms of the earth sing to God, chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing, Sing to God, God for kingdoms, kingdoms of the earth. earth. Over Israel is his majesty. His power is, is in the skies. Awesome in his sanctuary is God, the God of Israel. He gives power and strength to his people. Sing, Sing to, to God, God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of, of the earth. earth. Uh, 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Your word, O oh Lord, is true. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, I speak this in the world so that they may share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. A couple of weeks ago, I visited a friend who was dying at hospice, and I've known her for 40, more than 40 years, and uh, knew this would be the last time, you know, I would s- see her and speak to her, and you know, you just get a knot in your stomach and in your throat. It's just very, very difficult to that, say that kind of goodbye. Today in the scripture, we have two of those goodbyes, those farewells. St. Paul, in three years with the presbyters at Ephesus, was leaving them and he's telling them, I know I'll never see you again. And it was hard for them to take it. So they threw their arms around him and kissed him and wept. No words at all to speak. And then in the gospel, Jesus in the Last Supper, the night before he died, Uh, finally praying to the Father for his closest friends in this world. Neither of my parents, uh, both my parents died rather suddenly. We never had the chance to say goodbye. But I know my father would have said, take care of your mother. That would have been his last wish. And my mother, who died 13 years, would have said, stay together. Now that you're orphans, stay together as siblings nieces and nephews, grandchildren. That's what Jesus was praying. Let them be all be one, Father, just as you and I are one. That's what he wanted for them. We live in a world that's hardly one, even even a church that is hardly one. I think every time we celebrate this Eucharist, as the opening hymn said, we should be praying that we would be have the mind and heart of Jesus Christ and that we would be one with him and his Father. With confidence in God's protection and care, let us bring our petitions before him today. For church leaders, may they be strengthened and guided in their efforts to reveal Christ's presence in the world, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the salvation of the world, and for men and women of faith willing to proclaim the gospel to the ends of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those burdened with any suffering, may God comfort them with strength, healing, and the assurance that they are not alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, For all farmers and for all who produce the food that feeds our world and for an end to hunger in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, For Mary Ann Basil and all who have died, may they come to share in the fullness of life with the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Merciful Father, every good gift comes from you. We humbly ask that you hear our prayers, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace of the Lord and his name. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate as our dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth, God of hosts, the Lord, the Son and the Lord, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the Son and the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and to may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word, At this time, we invite you to join in a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May our partaking of this divine sacrament, O Lord, constantly increase your grace within us, and by cleansing us with its power, make us always ready to receive so great a gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Say my God. Amen. 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 Thank you.